Good day everyone. Welcome to my new course on Acoustic Induced Vibrations Study for Piping Systems. In one of my earlier courses, we learned about the flow induced vibrations where we understood that that vibration actually happens because of the flow or flow velocity rather. So with when the flow velocity is more, the, there is a tendency of the piping system to vibrate. In this specific course, we will be learning details about acoustic induced vibrations. Let's move on to the course. Content. The main points or contents that will be covered in this course are that introduction where we will be clarifying that who should attend this course, what is the objective of this course and what we will learn. Then what is piping vibration? We all know that piping vibration is a serious issue or serious problem in any operating plant. So it is always better if we can optimize the piping system during the design phase itself so that piping vibration can be eliminated or reduced. So we will be learning what is the definition of piping vibration and what are the main reasons or causes of piping vibration. So in next section, as I was telling that we will be learning the causes and effects of piping vibration. What are the main factors that forces the piping system to vibrate and what could be the serious impacts of those piping vibration on the piping system as well as the operation. Then we will be learning or moving on to actual our course which is acoustic induced vibration. So we will be finding or knowing the definition of acoustic induced vibration and which this type and when this type of vibration problems are prevalent in the piping industry. Then reasons for acoustic induced vibrations in piping systems. So what are the factors or main causes that helps the piping system to go into this mode of vibration known as AIV or acoustic induced vibration. Next, we will be learning the actual steps or step by step methods for acoustic induced vibration analysis. Then uh, towards the end, we will be learning some of the mitigation methods of acoustic induced vibration problems so that if we employ all those methods during our design phase the possibility of acoustic induced vibration will be reduced to a much extent so those we will be learning now course objective the main objective of this course is to explain the basics of acoustic induced vibrations in piping system so main definitions, causes, effects, etc. all related to acoustic induced vibrations we will be explaining in this course. Then to familiarize with the steps required to perform AIV studies. In the next section we will be learning all the steps or step by step methods that need to be performed for studying acoustic induced vibration and at towards the end we will explain some of the mitigation methods from acoustic induced vibration now the course is suitable for piping engineers who wishes to learn about acoustic induced vibration study or anyone who can or who works on this type of problems in their day to day life. Now introduction. Data provided by the UK's health and safety executive for the offshore industry shows that over 20% of all hydrocarbon releases in the UK North Sea are due to vibration induced fatigue failures. So you can see that more than 20% of the problems are because of vibration induced fatigue failures. So 
from this you understand that how serious the vibration problems are in piping industry data available in various plants dictate that between 10 to 15 percent of the pipe work failures are because of piping vibration so whatever failure happens in any piping industry or operating industry where there is piping out of that 10 to 15 percent which is a considerable amount is because of pipe work failures which is causing because of piping vibration this reference is provided in a document provided by energy institute guidelines here in this image you can see that how a piping system vibration can propagate this image is taken from victolic.com so what is piping vibration piping vibration is defined or can be defined as a continuous to and fro motion from an equilibrium position so from a equilibrium position the motion that occurs to and fro that can be considered as a piping vibration and to become it piping vibration it has to be happened in a piping system now piping vibration is a serious integrity risk to operating plants as it may result in fatigue failure if not resolved so during design stage we have to make all necessary efforts so that vibration can be resolved now effects of piping vibration now piping vibration causes dynamic stresses or fatigue in a piping system if this stress is more than the critical value it will initiate a crack that will propagate slowly and end in the failure of the item in concern so the vibration creates a crack initially which may propagate slowly as the number of cycle increases of due to this vibration and which ends in the failure of the item in concern the more fatigue sensitive places are the weld point connections where the branch and header are joined in addition to dynamic stresses vibration results in wearing surfaces in contact due to cyclical relative motion between them this phenomenon is known as fretting so wearing of surface can also happen due to piping vibration which may result in downtime of the operating plant so production loss of the plant is also one of the effect of piping vibration it jeopardizes the safety of the personnel in the operating plant then corrective impact cost once there is some problem we have to correct that also so it costs a huge production as well as cost to the operating refinery or plants then environmental impact if there is some leakage those corrosive fluids may cause environmental impact also now what are the causes that piping vibration occurs or happens in a piping system so there are a variety of excitation mechanism that can be present in a piping system and can produce piping vibration and finally failure resulting from fatigue some of these common causes are mechanical forces from equipment then second is flow induced vibration caused by the turbulence of the flowing fluid and this mechanical forces from equipment this is caused by the excitation forces of the reciprocating and rotary equipment like pumps compressors etc then pressure pulsations from reciprocating equipments then high frequency 
acoustic excitations which are generated by high pressure drops as relief valves control valves or orifice plate locations this is the main topic of our course today which we will be studying in depth next water hammer or pressure surge or momentum changes due to sudden valve closure next is cavitation or vapor bubble collapse due to localized pressure drop next due to the sudden flashing of the fluid then periodic pressure disturbances during a flow past the dead end of branch connections or instrumental items so these are some of the reasons which may cause piping vibration in any piping system and flow induced vibration that we already explained now what are the challenges why piping vibration is considered to be so critical because the vibration of plant piping is a significant risk to asset integrity and safety so it must has to be addressed to manage the risk of piping vibration various analyses and measurement services are performed at the some, same time the piping vibration tendency is increasing to a great extent due to increased flow rates of process industries through pipes and the usage of high strength thin walled piping material during the design so with advances in metallurgical properties of materials or with advancement or development of new materials we are using thin walled pipings which are highly flexible and not much rigid so because of that piping vibration is happening many a times and now what are the challenges of against this piping vibration that piping design codes like asme b31.3 b31.1 or pipeline codes like asme b31.4 b31.8 etc do not address the vibration issues in a detailed fashion also there are no detailed guidelines provided in any code or standard so because of this along with increased flow rates and use of thin walled pipes vibration is happening every now and then and most of the time we can understand that a vibration problem is reported elsewhere so that's all for the introduction part of our module now we will be learning the actual problem or actual topic of our course which is acoustic induced vibration thank you let's move on to module 2 of our course